In this video, we are going to see how to make a unit test to a controller class. This mean, uh, means that we are going to isolate it from the Spring uh, contest. Uh, worth mentioning that uh, uh, normally when we test our application with the Spring Boot test, we are making an integration test as we are using the Spring con Spring Boot Contest Loader as the default contest, uh, initiating all uh, the beans in our uh, application. So first thing, we are going to make a REST controller which will present uh, this uh, post uh, object. Uh, nothing fancy here, uh, we have three properties and we are going to simulate the ID generated by a random UU uh, uh, unit. Worth mentioning that the Spring framework provides also uh, another annotation to slice uh, the, test con the um, test contest. For example, the web MVC test for uh, testing the web layer. Uh, and also the data JP test for uh, testing the, the database layer. Now we start to making our controller. We annotated with REST controller, which will consent us to wrap the generated post in a response body automatically. Uh, that happens because uh, the annotation itself is annotated with the response body. Uh, we make our method and uh, our point endpoint is exposed uh, through an uh, HTTP get uh, by using the annotation uh, get mailing. Uh, we are just uh, returning uh, a new post with uh, a post title uh, concatenated with a number uh, that will be exchanged through uh, the path uh, variable, bus variable. Now we go to our uh, test class. We, we notate it with uh, extend with the spring extension uh, dot class. In this way, we are integrating the Spring Test Contest into JUnit5. So we are using some override, overridden JUnit method like uh, before all. First thing we do is uh, our mock MVC object, uh, the main tool to test our controller class. We are going to make a custom build for this object with mock MVC builders, so we can start our test with the minimum infrastructure required. And we also are testing just only one controller. Of course, this uh, builder can accept also an array. Next, we do our first test. Here we are just making sure that our endpoint is uh, working uh, properly. Then we make our object static as a before all method accept only static variables.
and here we have our post generated next we do our second uh, test with this test we will make sure that uh, our endpoint is accepting only a get request and give uh, a not allowed method uh, status when uh, for example the the, mes the method used is a post and we have a success now let's uh, introduce a complication to our controller by making a, a new service which will be responsible for generating the new post Now we inject our uh, new dependency in the controller by using the constructor dependency injection. And now we use the service to return the new post generated. Now we have to modify our test. We have to introduce the new dependency to our post controller instance. We will use the, the static method mock of Mokito to mock the dependency. before all accepts only static uh, variables so we adjust uh, this issue and then in every test we use uh, when the return statement of Mikito to simulate a response uh, from our uh, post service and all green finally if we want to get rid of all the spring dependency and use only Mokito we have only to remove the annotation extenders and we have a success that's it folks uh, all the code written in this post can be found on uh, github